Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lamb Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Not bored, I may say I'm bored, I'm just looking for what's left to do on the post-its. It's like exclusively Mega Satan, and then the lost greed mode and Mega Satan. <laughs> do we dare? You know what, I got time. I'm feeling a little zany. Let's try our lost, uh, our lost greed mode. I'd like to tell you in advance, um, that there's gonna be a lot of holding R here. And a lot of D4ing and then holding R. Um, so if you're not into that, if you're not interested in watching me restart a run several times, I would recommend that you, you probably refrain from watching. Just this episode, come back next time, I'm not gonna do two lost runs in a row. Well, that, kinda wish that I would uh, Maybe giving myself a little extra time on that one. But uh, basically what we're looking for here is just a damage upgrade. If we could just get like, I mean I know Jesus Juice was a damage upgrade, but if we can get like a really good tier effect or a really good damage upgrade right off the bat, that's what we're gonna stick with. Like, we'll be content with that. Sworn Protector is okay. Um, I really expect that we kind of need to follow the same principle um, to beat Greed Mode with Lost that we'll need, or that we needed I should say, to beat um, to beat Hush with Lost. Obsessed fan. I think this is pretty bad. Polyphemus piercing shots is not, though. So my, my thinking with that is basically... We get an item combination that is good enough to let us live long enough to reroll a bunch of items at the same time and get Nod Leaf out of it. We need Nod Leaf and a passive damage source, and if we can get both of those, we got no problems. As of right now, you might be saying, well, Polyphemus, um... Sagittarius, you're set. We're not set. We're set for a few waves. But eventually, you know, the, the God of Death will come for us as he comes for us all. And we will be hit. The only thing that we can do to really, like, the only sensible decision, I think, unless we are a preternatural God of Dodging, which I am clearly not, um, is to reroll into some kind of permanent, persistent invincibility. And, and Nod Leaf is, to the best of my knowledge, the only, uh, the only one of those likely to work out for us. I don't really want Jesus Juice, but it's a little weird, because I do want as many items as possible. So we will pick up Jesus Juice, knowing that it'll be useful for now, and re-rollable later. Uh, again, it's, it's kind of like we have to get enough momentum that we can then use that momentum to slingshot us into a winnable run. The criteria we need to beat Ultra Greed, and Greed Mode in general, is a lot different than the criteria we normally need to win a greed mode run, which is enough HP, a ton of damage. What we're looking for on this run is more like, um... In a very specific niche of invincibility, and then any passive damage source that doesn't require us to, to actually be active to fire. There is a small chance, and I do mean a small chance, wow, we didn't get hit somehow. Um, of beating Ultra Greed without getting hit while still moving. Just like the greatest dodges of all time. Somehow we didn't get killed there either, by the way, which is its own, you know, unique kind of concept, uh, because I was pretty sure that we'd be dead twice over. Um, but that's okay. We're doing fine. Again, we're not trying to make it through every single floor with this combination. What we're trying to do is get just enough. Tears up. Also great. We're just trying to get just enough to survive, and then get as many battery charges as we can in quick succession, basically. In order to, to reroll, um... As many times as is necessary to give us any kind of passive damage source, so... And, and the Nod Leaf, obviously. Hopefully we just pick up Nod Leaf in an item room and we can stick with what we got, but... It's unlikely. I'm trying to get, like, two cents so I could buy Mom's Key here, but... It's not necessarily super important. We're gonna make it down to our next floor and give this, a uh, chance. Maybe we'll get some money when we finish this room? Nope. And we can't access that tinted rock. Okay. Well, we'll try. It certainly is a winnable run right now. We don't want to reroll it yet unless we have to uh, in a panic. Scapular is uh, an item I'm not going to mind rerolling in the future. PJ's pretty much exactly the same. Well, let's see what we've got over here. Uh, a golden chest I'm not necessarily thrilled about. And we can't do anything else. I think we buy, um, I think we buy the speed upgrade. Which is more useful to us than probably the orbital would be. But both of these are just basically things that would give me an advantage now. But also, 
I, I don't have to feel bad about rerolling later. We really cannot afford to let these waves get too out of hand. Make sure you're, you've got good accuracy. Obviously, that's not working out for us right now. But we really can't afford for there to get too much shit on the screen. I also don't know. I think as the lost, you can push the button without uh, taking damage. That was a little dangerous. Uh, so maybe we should just try pushing the button after like every single wave. But I also find that a little risky in our current situation because I don't know 100% for sure if it works that way. I believe that it does. Man, thank god these guys aren't shooting beams. We would have been hit like six times over. Gotta, yeah. Gotta have gotten him there. Um, do we buy Keep of Meat next? Maybe. I mean, we certainly don't want HP. We want something passive. Uh, and a Keep of Meat is passive and also potentially, like, not useless for us, which is even better. Obviously, we're also hoping for awesome deal with the devil, deal with the angel items. The real issue here is going to become what happens if we uh, if we get Holy Mantle. Do we try to roll with it? Or do we, um, do we press onwards and try to get that Nod Leaf? The odds of me beating Greed, I guess uh, Ultra Greed specifically. Wow, still pretty useless here. Um, getting hit once... Like, having the, the tolerance to get hit once are much, much better than the odds of me beating Ultra Greed uh, without getting hit zero times. Without getting hit zero... You know what I mean. There's a disproportionately higher chance of us being able to beat uh, Ultra Greed if we're allowed to get hit once. What we're also waiting for... Um... <laughs> that was... That was really unexpected. Um, I'm going to donate as much money as they'll let me donate here. And the reason I'm gonna do this is because I want to get something out of this run, even if it's not immediately, uh, you know, useful for us here. Uh, I would like to get uh, a speed upgrade there if we can. The the speed ball, I should say. Um, but for now, I was like, you know, at least this run is not worthless now. I also feel like maybe doing uh, greed mode with the lost is something we should wait until we unlock holy mantle as the lost to do I was watching one of Mathis's episodes and he said like if you get over 800 cents 800 and something maybe in your donation machine then you start with holy mantle I've kind of kept myself in the dark on on spoilers like that not because I'm too worried about spoilers but just because I haven't actively sought them out I guess so um, I do think Holy Mantle on the Lost is actually like a pretty nice change, and I think it makes the Lost uh, a lot more a lot more fun to play as. So, and, and definitely would make Greed Mode like oh god, I thought there were going to be beam enemies, so I tried to get up here to see them, but I almost killed myself in the process. Um, it would be advantageous for us to start with that in Greed Mode, without a doubt. Let's take this for now. We don't need to donate any more money. As nice as it might be, none of those enemies were beam shooters, right? Yeah, they're just silkworms. The silkworms are bad, but they don't have as much range, so it's not as bad. We are coming pretty close to the point where I think we have to shoot the moon. You know, if we could get a, a reroll or a battery charge for sale on our next floor, which means we basically have as many battery charges as we can afford, I think it's worth giving it a shot to try to get uh, into Nod Leaf. And I mean, Cuba Meat's awesome. Cuba meat is pretty good as well. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? Like a nice pressed, uh, you know, cheese and uh, and ham sandwich. It's delicious. Never disrespect the Cuba meat, but at the same time, we do want, possibly need, Nod Leap. You know, if if this if this run had a song, it would be uh, Savage Gardens. I want you. You know, ooh, I want you. I don't know if I need you, but ooh, I'd die to find out. Now, I apologize for reminding everybody that Savage Garden existed. I know some of you out there probably are still big fans of Truly Madly Deeply, and you have my uh, condolences for that, but we're going to try to work through that together right now. I'm just being a dick. Don't worry about it. So we're just trying to keep ourselves as far away as possible from an enemy that can jump and teleport by jumping. Still hoping for a great deal with the devil or angel item. Doesn't have to be truly superb, but if it's superb enough to make me not re-roll on the next floor, that's something, because then we can get more 
items out of each reroll in the future. The problem right now is you want to reroll when your odds of having a better run are higher than your odds of having a worse run. And we're still having a really good run. I mean, we haven't been hit yet. This is not worth it, man. We can't even pick that up. Um, so we want to buy this, obviously. And then check out our item room. And attack fly is fine as well. But uh, we're in a rough spot. In, in mentally speaking, from an item standpoint, we're in a great spot right now. But I do need to make the decision to reroll at some point. So I think we leave that in there as a little bit of a damage bonus if we like our reroll here. So let's uh, let's take this. And I know there's still going to be people like, why in the world are you rerolling this Polyphemus run? We do these things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. No, but seriously, like... Um, you know, people said that to me on that uh, Lost Hush run, and then we ended up winning. That doesn't mean that this is doubtlessly the right decision. By the way, our combination right here is good, but we're slow and we don't have Nod Leaf. So we're going to reroll again. This time, 2020 Proptosis. Not Nod Leaf. We got Rubber Cement Rodden Baby. I think this one is actually better. We are still very slow, though. We just got Spun, which is like a plus three damage upgrade as well. That is huge. We got enough bombs that we can put in there. We got Tammy's head. This is a this is a tough decision. I'll, I'll give you that. It's a toughie because I really want um, to keep Tammy's head, and I think I will keep it for the damage that it will do for us on this floor. I'd like to keep it long term. I don't think we're going to have the opportunity to do so. The soul is also a great pickup here. No beams, please. These enemies quite clearly have beams. Good. So far, so good. Any enemies that can shoot across the map are going to be what we uh, endeavor to avoid here. Like these guys, for example. Oh, okay. Well, we'll start up another one. See, I told you you shouldn't reroll. Look, we're not going to win every run as the loss, you know? It only takes one. It only takes one for us to win. That was a great start, and we had a good time on it. But, you know, there's, there's work to be done. Chariots. And then we re-rolled into Fat Odd Mushroom. Uh, I don't expect this to be good. But we can cherry it out. And then I don't know what... I guess we just restart now instead of restarting a second ago. Um, ooh, Curse of the Unknown. I don't know. We could have any amount of HP. Speed upgrade. Here's downgrade. Definitely not going to subject myself to that torture. Okay. Uh, Jesus Juice. Although it doesn't really matter because we're going to be re-rolling anyway. We need a good damage upgrade to start with. And uh, it doesn't have to come right away. It can come after we uh, after we reroll, but it would be better if we could get it right away. Range upgrade is not good enough. Reroll it into... Um, I can't remember what that one is, and as a result, I'm not going to use it. But maybe that's a huge mistake. Super Bandage. <laughs> Curse of the Tower. If we could engineer like the worst loss start possible, that might be it. Super Bandage. Gimpy, uh, that's also really bad. Halo is possibly a good enough start. So I'll give this a try. Like, we're not going to ever reroll into... It, it's different than the, the lost runs you do normally, right? We're never going to reroll into a situation where we're just like, we win the run, you know? Even if we reroll into Mom's Knife or Brimstone, we've still got a long road ahead of us. All we're trying to do is reroll into something that's good enough for us to be... Uh, capable of surviving the first couple of floors. And the Halo is not good enough to survive the first couple of floors, but it's probably good enough to survive the first floor. And then, you know, that allows us to get enough money and maybe a deal with the Devil Light and that makes it plausible for us to survive later into the game. So, I think this is a, a very sensible starting option for us here. And maybe it's, it's in our best interest to just not even try to win on Greed Mode as the Lost until we get Holy Mantle. Unlocked, if that's even something we can do as the lost, uh, as a default starting item. But wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be nice for bragging rights if we could make that happen? If we could say, well, I did it before Holy Mantle. Not to be a dick, but to be like, you know, to defend ourselves. Jesus Juice is okay. Battery charge is effectively meaningless here. Three cent key, even though we didn't have to buy it, we might as well buy it because we're going to need keys in the future anyway. So a triple shot is good here. Um, Anytime we find a 3 cent key, I think it's worth buying. 
is my my hypothesis. Why not open that? We got a key out of that anyway. Um, I think we'll buy this, even though it's not necessarily necessary, and hope for small rock here. That's not small rock. It's a spirit heart we can't use. Um, we'll, we'll buy Jesus Juice. We'll buy Jesus Juice. When we get the, the extra money. So triple shot is good. It has its own, you know, unique foibles associated with it for sure. Not necessarily a, a huge DPS upgrade, but really nice for coverage. And we're going to be fighting a lot of enemies, uh, you know, that are going to cover a lot of the screen. So having the ability to hit them uh, reliably is going to be nice. Got eight seconds to kill the last part of Little Steven. Not a problem. Even had one second to spare. What was I worried about? So this Dingle is an issue because he's super fast. What we're going to do is just the sensible thing. And we're going to walk ourselves fairly close to these rocks. So that if Dingle chooses to charge us, we can be on top of the rocks. And would you look at that. Fairly consistently able to hit with all three shots. His shots don't look like they go over the rocks. Even though it is scaring the shit out of me a little bit. Balls of steel. Balls of steel. Our balls are made of a, a metal that is renowned for being stainless. Okay, Jesus Juice. And then an enemy that has beams, which I don't like. I don't like beam based enemies. They're gonna focus, or they're gonna force us, I should say, to be a little bit more prudent with our camera usage than I normally have to be, because we've gotta keep them on screen at all times. We got into our deal with the devil, and for once, there's an actual item in here. Betrayal. It's pretty bad. But it is deal with the devil precedent, and we're a character that can take free deals. And we'll be able to reroll it later. Okay, not so bad. Stay strong here. Caves 1. Mom's contact. Good item. Tinted rock. It's like, it's not a high priority, but if we get bombs, that's good. Lucky rock. Um, well, we got a bomb. Lucky Rock for five cents. Like, it almost pays for itself immediately if we just use it right here. Even though... Oh, we got two bombs back as well. So now I'm looking at this and I'm saying, okay, hold up. We're at 11 cents. Um, Mom's Purse maybe interests me the most out of any of these. So for another bomb, we get enough money to buy Mom's Purse, which also rotates another item out here. Which is useful for us, so we'll buy Mom's Purse. We don't have another trinket that we want immediately. Oh, we transformed into mom. This is actually super valuable for us. Um, for that same hush principle, now all we need is uh, Nod Leaf, which again is is the linchpin. It's the harder part to get, but all we need is, uh, is Nod Leaf, and then we can let Ultra Greed walk into us. So we have one piece of the puzzle. And there's many pieces that can fit in this spot. Unfortunately, you know, we're missing the corner pieces. The corner piece in this case being some form of permanent invincibility. Or an incredible ability to dodge, which unfortunately I don't think I really possess. Maybe one day. But for now, I, anytime we can get through two or three floors with a lost run, I'm like, hey, this is like, it's doable. Obviously the waves get harder and harder as the game goes on, and there's certain enemies that are just a killer when you can't get hit at all. Um, enemies that have beams and then they spawn off the screen. Enemies that spawn on top of you. Enemies that spawn off the screen and then teleport you know these are all going to be very difficult for us to deal with like these guys even are, are fairly tough to keep an eye on got it gotta kill one yeah that's the first step oh he came out of hiding good good okay we can buy another item here i can't remember if there was anything good for sale uh i mean there's the d6 but I don't really want to D6 the D4. So I think what we'll do is invest in a full reroll here. Uh, raw liver is not that good. But Pyro Small Rock is awesome. Do we have any more rock situations? I mean, with 99 bombs, why wouldn't we blow up every single um, mushroom that we can find? We don't want raw liver. Uh, but there is like a 7 cent item. Yeah, we, we'll take the 7 cent luck upgrade. And then it becomes Black Candle. Uh, th there's not too many curses that I that are going to be that like terrible for me, but... 
I can understand why we might be interested in it. I can't really recall if we're gonna have enough money. We may. We need 15 cents. I don't know. Might be might be tight. So this is gonna be tight uh, as well. Ragman is not an enemy you want to get close to for this exact reason. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Should have followed my own advice. That's okay. Life goes on. We keep grinding out some lost stuff here. This is actually potentially really good. Stigmata is like such a small damage upgrade relative to, to what I would want here. And we kind of ate shit on the pills, so we'll we'll restart that one. That run was looking okay. Uh, the run preceding this, I should say. Uh, this is good as well. Any item that gives us the ability to uh, have a consumable but still re-roll the item itself, like Mom's Purse was in there, Mom's Coin Purse, I should say, and uh, Pageant Boy fits the bill as well, is going to be solid for us because then we can buy a key, come back here, and we get two re-rolls instead of one right off the bat. Uh, and we definitely want to re-roll anti-grab, so we re-roll that, we get SMB Superfan and the Magnet. Unfortunately, not quite good enough. Halo's good enough, SMB Superfan is kind of like, eh, it's, it's borderline. Intensifying tiers, I, you know, they're interesting. I haven't really gotten full value out of them yet. Uh, I think they could be okay. Squeezy, again, is kind of like a borderline good start. I'd, I'd rather start with something awesome if we have to make the choice ourselves, you know? Uh, it's, like, it's not Eden's Blessing, it's a different one, but... I, it didn't seem like it was going to be that good. Synth Oil is, like, arguably good enough. Instead, I held R instead of pressing the space bar, but, you know, life goes on, I guess. Binky. Binky into Polyphemus is playable. Yep. Okay. Without a doubt. And again, Polyphemus is not good for, uh... Well, I mean, it's great for us, but it's not a game winner. What it is, is the perfect babysitter until we can get what we want. But at the very least... This run has not been like a complete shit show. Um, we have managed to donate a little bit of money thanks to an unlikely series of events. Okay, I'm dead. I, I definitely should have hit earlier there. That's not even a contest. Squeezy again. I'm just waiting for like my first floor godhead. And then I'll fuck it up. No, that's... Don't lose self-confidence just yet. We could also go to our curse room as well. Yeah, Isaac's heart, the loss. That seems like a sensible option. Matchbook does give us those bombs early. Then we reroll and get little Gertie. Oh, and then I'll stand next to this bomb and blow up. Again, it does it doesn't really matter if we die there. I probably wasn't gonna roll that one anyway. Pageant boy is good. A nickel. Cross your fingers. Yeah, we got a nickel drop. And we got Bumbo. Oh, this is very interesting, because Bumbo is one uh it's one side of the coin, you know? If we give Bumbo enough coins, he'll become a passive damage source, and then we can just kinda hide out over the rocks. So this time, let's not buy the three cent key, even though we'll want it eventually. Instead, um, I think we'll just let Bumbo take like all of our money to start with. It's not great, but I think it's better. So Bumbo, take the cash, man. It's gonna take Bumbo a little while to level up. So we're gonna have to kind of be his, uh, be his babysitter for a while. Once we have a max level Bumbo though, I'm not saying it's GG, but it is a piece of the puzzle taken care of. Probably the best passive damage source that we can get in the game. Next to like, Nod Leaf and an actual mom's knife that enemies can't stop running into, you know? That's alright, Bumbo. Prioritize the cash for now. Now, the, the thing we have to worry about with uh, max level Bumbo is that that dude spits bombs out of control. So, we are going to have a, a lot of uh, explosions to watch out for. But the idea, I think, is that we get Bumbo aggroed on the enemy, and then we just run away. You know, we just hide out over some rocks or something like that, and let uh, let Bumbo do the killing in the middle of the in the middle of the floor. As long as these enemies can't hit us over uh, over rocks, I'm not too worried. Ooh, kind of close. Uh, obviously, like the corn flies are a little bit more of a problem. Come on, Bumbo. There's some more pennies you can get, man. Oh, we're fucked, aren't we? Yo, what? They blew up! What did the, what blew them up? Mr. Dolly? Uh, I mean, Piggy Bank has the tendency to be okay in greed mode, but probably not if we can't control the amount that we get hit. 
Mom's eye is not good enough. I'm getting a little demoralized. We'll probably try to knock out one or two more runs here. This is just, it's life, man. That's not good enough. Uh, this is life on lost runs. Is there life on lost? We rerolled into Holy Mantle. Good God. Um, what's going on in here? Free chest? Not a free key, but a free chest. Gotta check this out. Mmm, nothing of value. That's okay. Um, so I think we'll... We don't need to step on the button every wave. It, it's gonna cost us money to do so. But if we ever get hit, we can step on the button and then leave the room and re-enter. Which probably drastically minimizes our risk here. Now admittedly, I'm not... You know, adverse to the idea, or averse to the idea, of um, re-rolling Holy Mantle. But it really is gonna inhibit my desire to do so. So what we're gonna do instead is just try to tailor this greed mode run as if it's, um... As if it's a regular greed mode run where we can get hit once and still live. So we're basically gonna just go for the standard good items, you know, we're gonna up our damage. Uh, a passive source of damage, like Bumbo, is going to be high priority, even though it costs us money, obviously, to make it happen. But I really think if we play carefully, so I'm really glad I stepped on that button, but I think if we play carefully, um, we have every available opportunity to, to make this work for us. So you definitely want to leave and then re-enter uh, in order to give yourself the best possible chance here. Do you actually get less money? We got like two more waves, and we picked up 12 cents. Normally you get 18 cents by the time you finish the first uh, set of floors here. I think it might be like completely the same amount of money and this is just a, an urban myth. Maybe Twitch chat was trolling me. It wouldn't be the first time. 15 cents does give us the ability to buy an item, but it also gives us the ability to buy a key, which is probably the first thing that I'll do. Although I really don't want HP. So, maybe being able to tailor our choice is better. But it's a three cent key. We gotta pay for it. Three cent key is the, it's the best bargain in greed mode, man. I don't know what Bursting Sack does. But here we are. Um, I mean, there's no point in Fanny Pack. No, we only got... Oh, you know what it is? It's probably like the first wave gives you one cent. Second wave gives you two. And the rest give you... Um, Three, so when you stop the button, you get one le uh, one cent, and you start the chain all over again. I understand this now. Okay, good to know. With only 14 cents, I'm like, what item would I choose here? I guess you take Squeezy, even though you can't use the Spirit Hearts. Fanny Pack is worthless. It's either that or you save your money for the next floor. Which may actually be the right call. Save your money for the next floor instead. And as a result, um, maybe you can pick up like a straight damage upgrade instead. I don't really want to fight two bosses at the same time, but I want the cash. And I feel like Pin is not long for this world. We've missed our window anyway. Now we got Ragman. Ragman appears to be half dead. This is not correct. If it is, then beautiful for us. But I don't, I think that we're being misled. Math is not our friend right now. All right, any damage I can sneak in from close or from return to Jafar is fine by me. I learned my lesson last time. Even though we can take a hit here, I'd much rather just not even risk it at all. If it takes us 10 minutes to kill Ragman, it takes us 10 minutes to kill Ragman. Now, the big deal here is obviously our deal with the devil. If we can pick up a high damage item like Mom's Knife or Brimstone, hmm, this is dangerous now. Uh, it's completely plausible that we could beat the game and only get hit once up to Ultra Greed. Ultra Greed is going to be the foible, you know? that That's going to be the big problem for us. But if we can at least give ourselves the chance, then all we need is maybe like Mom's Knife or Trinity, or not Mom's Knife, sorry, Nodly for Trinity Shield or something, and then, you know, we're fine, maybe. Or maybe we could get like a teleport ability that we could use persistently, like Cursed Skull and then like, uh, I don't know, Remote Detonator. And then we could always teleport after we got hit once with Holy Mantle and then come back in and try it again. That sounds incredibly tiresome, but not a bad way to live if it's... Whoa! 
Not a bad way to live if it's the only way to make it happen. You don't see that attack too much from Ragman. There we go. He is dead. The spiders are not. We've done it. Kept ourselves far away. If it's a Krampus fight, I'm going to be real sad. Well, we're not on that yet, I guess. So, leave. Um, take the tiers upgrade. Uh, Halo would be awesome. There's no way we could have gotten to it anyway. Without uh, buying something else, so... That goes on. Another pin fight. It's pin, uh, pin and friends. Which is completely fine. We'll take out the friends part first. And then we'll just let pin jump right into us. Slowly work him down. This is my favorite, because now he jumps straight at us. And that is where the bulk of our damage can be done. When he comes in at an angle, it's a little bit more difficult. But when he comes in straight on, easy kill. This is only our first floor. It's taken us five minutes already. But it was worth it. I mean, sort of. We can fly. We got my shadow. Is okay. We got Holy Mantle. That's a huge get for us. Let's head downwards here. This will probably be the last run we do over the course of this video. I think I've given it an honest try. Let's see if we can make this work in the caves. Um, obviously, none of these really do anything for us. Reroll targets for the future, or... Or not. More stuff we can't use. Um, again, like I mentioned, we may stick with this run. I don't know what we'd want here. Maybe PhD. Even though we're not likely to get too many, um, uh, too many pills, can can happen. Well, this is a terrible start. Uh, also, Eve's mascara. I didn't really talk about it, but you know, there's a general rule that I've I've talked about in episodes before. You never use Eve's mascara in the early game. You never use Tech Two in the late game. So, I uh, I think the damage up is greatly outclassed uh, by the tiers downgrade and thus DPS downgrade that we'd be forced to subject ourselves to. I gotta admit, it's it's very tempting early on here to be like, reroll. Go for the reroll. Take the other item and reroll. And it might be the right course of action. Oh, do I do it? I don't know. I think I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's go to our curse room first because we can with Holy Mantle. Two of diamonds. That's good for later. Let's give it a try. This could be incredibly bad, but we'll take it, reroll. We got nothing that I love to see here, but our rate of fire is a lot better. And we got homing tears. I mean, that's good. Now we really need to not get hit. Now that decision may indeed be very stupid. I may have made a, an incredibly dumb decision there. My hope is that I did. My hope is that we can, we can make this happen. Uh, Long enough to just get another reroll charge. I mean, Serpent's Kiss, it could be an amazing item. Admittedly, I, I just don't know fully what it does. We've only unlocked it recently, but um, if we can... If we can live long enough to reroll one more time, that's another crack at something like Nod Leaf. Maybe I should have been taking this, like, super aggressive reroll strategy uh, to begin with. So there we go. There's our reroll. This time we got Glitter Bombs. Epic Fetus. Glitter Bomb's Epic Fetus, huh? Uh, well, Epic Fetus is awesome. Does it synergize with Glitter Bombs? I have no idea, but this is a hard one to, to choose to reroll, I'll tell you that much. The damage that will do with Epic Fetus is just incredible. And yeah, Glitter Bomb's Epic Fetus uh, definitely work together. Help. Help. Where are you? Where are you, Polycephalus? Why can't I find you? Deep cut reference to Cindy Lou Who's original song in the Grinch Save Christmas from 2003. Yeah, I think that was 03. Because that was right about the age where like one of my friends invited me out to see this. To see the Grinch movie. And I was like, I'll do it. But pretty soon, I'm going to be too old for that. I had to be too cool for that. And of course the answer is I was never t I never got too cool to see the Grinch movie. But the, the the Grinch movie is also like pretty not great though. If I'm honest. And it does star Jim Carrey, 
who I know is controversial for his political decisions, but, you know, still one of, you know, Canada's thespian princes. I don't know if we can do anything with a lump of coal. Are you a wizard is meaningless. Uh, two of diamonds is great, though. Maybe we want to use it right now. Uh, yes, we want to use it right now. Because I, I can buy stuff like mini mush. A speed upgrade is very valuable for us. Uh, faster rate of fire maybe works for us. I don't know if scatter... Scatter bomb seems like it could be terrible. Uh, and then we'll buy a PhD as well. Which gave us a question mark pill to start with. Um, then we'll blow up these guys. And then we'll blow up this guy. We got a bomb back. So we don't have scatter bombs. That's good. But we have the ability to reroll through them in the future, I guess. Um, let's try to blow this up. Maybe we'll get a half price item. Uh, half price nuns habit? Why not? We might be able to use that in our future. Okay, so down to the next floor. Don't get me wrong. You fucked us. They fucked us. Curse of the Maze put us inside of the curse room! This was our run! This was our run! So you might be saying, NL, what the fuck are you doing? You're dead. You can't get out. I don't know, man. Secret room. Okay, um, we, we just keep, we just keep putting glitter bombs down. Don't stop believing in the glitter bombs. They can give us an out. Maybe when we're faded, we can get out. Maybe we can get a teleport card out of our glitter bombs! Still alive. Oh, there we go. That's our card, baby. Judgment. That's all right. That's all right. We blow up that judgment. Maybe it gives us a teleport card. Ruka, it's okay. We're gonna get out of this, Ruka, buddy. We're gonna be able to make this. I promise. All we need is one teleport card. Can of corn and I'll be all right. I can't believe they would screw us like this! Tyrone! That's not a way out, unfortunately. Oh, man. I mean, we, we can use, like, unlimited epic fetus bombs to do this, but... It does seem like we get better returns off of our glitter bombs. Oh, God. Hogalaz. Why couldn't you just be Algiz? Health up! Exquisite. Well, I don't know how long I'm gonna continue this song and dance. Hogalaz. What an outrageous day to be alive. I can wait. We're definitely gonna get hurt when we walk out, right? Like, it's not me making just an idiotic assumption that we're gonna die. Got an actual bomb. I believe. I'm gonna do this until 15 minutes, and that's gonna be incredibly annoying. We now have another out at least, but I'd really rather not D4 this incredible run. So, I'm gonna keep doing this for 15 minutes. If you don't think you can stand another two minutes or so of me, you know, just trying to get some glitter bombs here and then re-rolling my run into probable oblivion, um, then thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode in spite of the way that it's ended here. Oh, we got the fainted Polaroid! Go, 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 go! No. I really thought we'd be invincible. Instead, we were just invisible. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm not salty. A little salty. Not that salty, though.